To be immersed within the landscape is an experience which engages all our senses. Out here, we notice the subtle changes of our environment, the drifting shadows across a hillside, the earth beneath our feet. Out here, we are aware of our presence within something bigger than ourselves. The more we observe these continual changes, the more that is revealed to us. My first ever session painting plein air was with my good friend Colin. We decided to come here to Compton Abdale in Gloucestershire and it was March 2021. The conditions were very much like today, a little bit cold, that's why I'm wearing, wearing this coat. We packed all our stuff up in the car, we didn't really know what was expected or what we needed to have. We loved the sort of chaotic nature of, of working outdoors compared to the studio because neither of us had ever, ever painted in that way before and the way that all of our kit was being blown around by the wind and battling against the cold. I've been out ever since painting on a weekly basis to kind of get back to that energy level and that excitement from that very first session. Paint out in the open because there's no substitute at all for actually being here and the sense of scale that you get from being outdoors. A photo, when you look at photos, it's all static and still and everything's too dark often. It doesn't feel like landscape, whereas out here it's all about, you know, you get to feel what the place is actually like and how that influences the creative process. You can hear the birds singing, you can get a sense of scale across this valley. So all of those factors influence the creative output. So the constant change is something that I didn't really focus on or even realize was happening until I actually went out and painted plein air something about the the ever-changing transient nature of those experiences when you're actually out there the various different locations whether they're urban or rural that is impossible to capture yet you're trying to capture something of that from something that can never be captured because it's always moving a variety of locations to actually paint in is really important because you can get something different from each of those places if you're painting in a town, for example, the actual mark quality and the colours that I'm using are very different to if I'm out here. And the approach and the level of abstraction itself varies depending on the location and depending on sort of the mood that you wake up in that day. Those, all these factors influence the way the work is. So oil paint is a very visceral and evocative medium. It sort of looks like flesh, it's, it's really rich and textural and I love to combine the colour and the texture together to create something that's really vibrant and sort of sings and, and moves on the surface much like the landscape around you which is always moving. The oil paint looks different in different lights and having that variation and that balance is really important within my work. So my work has evolved massively over the past three years since I started painting plein air. I started off with acrylics and trying to replicate what I was seeing, much more of a, a literal approach. And that approach has evolved over time. I've shifted to using oil paint because they're much richer and more satisfying to use. I've also evolved my process and so I'm actually abstracting the landscape. I'm being much less literal about what I'm actually depicting. Knowing when a painting has worked or not is a really difficult question and I think it goes beyond just a technical consideration. It's about the feeling that you get from looking at a piece of work and I know if a piece has worked or not because I get an immediate reaction. I don't always know why that is. I know when I see it. Luscious is the title of my debut solo show, which is at Spring Gallery in Cheltenham, and it's by far the most extensive 
and ambitious body of work they've ever produced. It began in March 2023, finished in March 2024, so it was a 12 month period of intensive work. And in that time I've produced over 40 paintings, some of which will be making it into the show. The concept for this show was me wanting to see how far I could push my practice and unravel the process of going out painting on plein air. I didn't have a set goal in mind of, of a particular feel that I wanted the show to have. I just wanted to commit to going out to a certain location and allowing that experience to inform the work in the most honest and truthful way possible. So in addition to having an exhibition of my work at Spring Gallery, I'm allowing the public to actually see some of my work in process by bringing along a small selection of sketchbooks that I've been working in over the course of the past year. I think it's very really nice to be able to actually see the hand of the artist, to actually get to touch and feel the tactile nature of the paper, because you don't often get to see inside of an artist's sketchbook, you don't get to have that intimate experience of the artist's working process. I'm allowing people to come in, have a glass of fizz, have a good chat with myself and see that what we do is largely a process of exploration, it's not creating finished pieces of work the whole time. It's nice to see the sketchbooks and the process behind the finished artwork and show that we are actually always exploring our creativity and trying to find a way through from one experience to the other. village in the distance and the zoom and ever since then I've been addicted to that to that um, I paint on plein air because there's nothing you can I'll start again with that <laughs> uh, we'll start again it's really important to paint uh, I'll start again on that one no. 